I don't even count. They got a team meeting all the time. I need to be in there, motherfucker. I already count. I'm going to be over there, motherfucker. Smiling all the motherfucker. I'm going to be at work every day. I'm be like, bro, I need extra time. Need extra time. I'll be there, be 24 hours. Fuck you talking about? I'm about to work this $10 million job as a professional athlete. And I'm going to show you the difference between this and... I will. I mean, you will make like 10, 20 mil a year and shit. That shit crazy. But you gotta be like a superstar though. Getting paid two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> to be an astronaut. This is insane. Getting paid one hundred thousand dollars to dig up real dinosaur bones. Oh my god! And so many other jobs. Starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold panning. That can make as little as one dollar a year. But we're gonna. Damn, the they only make it like one dollar. Gold panning though, like digging for gold. Nah, hold on. They being like rivers and shit over there digging for gold and shit. That's still a lot. One dollar. Shit, me, my ass would not be a dick motherfucker. But the other countries, that's how they be coming though. To make millions. Mm -hmm. Statistically not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism. And with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. But it's not very easy. Because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, boys! I found gold! No! How much is that little nugget worth? That is... Two cents. Exactly my point. You can do this for a whole year and only make a dollar. But Dang. luckily for us, we're going to be working jobs that pay over $10 million per year. But first, let's see what it's like to work a job that pays $100,000 per year. Digging up dinosaurs. See, motherfucker would have did better than what digging a dinosaur. See, fuck the gold mine and this shit. My, my, look. My, I would have quit the first. <laughs> For 10 minutes. Nah, for two minutes of me doing this, they about a dollar. Nah, hell nah. They were told me a dollar. Mine, look. No. Sir Bones for a museum. And yes, these are fake because they're all dead. So this is just one of our pits. Are these actually dinosaur bones? They are. I've been here 17 really? years. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in this career. This is your thigh bone right here, and it's over four feet tall. For comparison, here's that dinosaur next to six corals stacked on top of Damn. it. Damn. Keep in mind, I'm 6'5". These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? He has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea. Hey, but that's crazy, though, with these bones and shit, though, bro. It's crazy, like, how we still, like, able to dig them up for, like, so long. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But even with us holding him back, with the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. And you let me and Carl touch that? Absolutely. What if we messed it up? <laughs> he like, well, we messed it up, man. Y'all can't mess this shit up. No worse than what it's already messed up. Josh, Look at him, he's like, my ass, nah. 50 pounds? Yep. This is one-tenth the weight of Nolan's mom. Oh. Now, because this bone is so ancient, we have to cover it in a cast before we pick it up, or else it could literally break in half. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, two, three. Balls. Oh. Highway, oh, baby. Good job. This is the first time any humans have ever carried... But that's another thing, too, though. How can they know that's a dinosaur bone? Well, this is just not like one of them big-ass animals. They just passed away or some shit and just in the ground. They, I don't know. This bone, just YouTubers carrying a dinosaur bone. Ugh. Front of the table. One, two, lick. Watch your hands up. And believe it or not, this dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But because museums are boring, let's head over to the two hundred thousand dollar job: astronaut training with NASA. And my astronaut first mission, training with NASA. To the official lunar rover. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're gonna get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive this? Open the doors! You said genetic testing though, but it's just like, bruh. Still though, it's just like, bruh. It like, bruh, how? And, it, and, and a dinosaur, a real dinosaur never been in the world for, for, for us to see that shit though. Don't kill us. I'm scared. You good? Oh, this is amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right, to the left, man. Is this hey. street legal? Uh, street legal around here. Oh, this is amazing. It's like street legal around here. I haven't figured out how to straight it yet. And even though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is going to be. Oh, we're off-roading. Oh, God. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're going to let me drive it down this hill? Is there seat belts in this thing? There's a seat belt we don't use right there. Then. Yeah, <laughs> they've got seat belts they don't use. That's that's helpful. Oh, oh, that's way too yeah. small. No way. Uh, Are we really going down? Can I get that seat belt now? Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh this is what they gonna use going to the moon. Like once they get this shit to the moon, they are gonna drive them motherfucker on the moon and shit. Lift your hands. But that shit hard though. I, he's actually. Oh, 
I'll get up and let Nick. No, 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 sit there. No. Go sideways in the crater. Sure. Hold me, Carl. Hold me. Landon, I'm just gonna say it. You wouldn't survive on the moon. No, I reckon I could do it. Next in training, NASA. That should... one thing, I'd be scared to land on the damn moon, bro. Like we just go out of space, and we just on the moon. Like what if we? I know they ain't gonna let us go too far. But what if motherfuckers just like? Yeah, go too far, fall off the moon. Nah, never mind. I don't need it. Cause I know they ain't gonna let you go that far too, though. Me around their enormous space facility. Holy crap! This is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be honest, it just felt like they were flexing on me, especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a spacesuit, you're an astronaut. But of course, there was a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper. You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. There you go. Like an actual real adult diver. Okay. So be careful. This yeah. is a space artifact. It's flown on the space shuttle several times. So real astronauts have worn this. Yes. Keep in mind that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I not in this suit. No. Okay. <laughs> When's the next mission? What are you doing a, a year from now? I can make time. Okay. Okay. And the final <laughs> step of my training was the craziest thing I've ever done. They were gonna like, uh, touch there will be more the animals in the world that are in the dinosaur family. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. This is the largest collection of moon rocks on display anywhere in the world. I can't believe they're letting us do this. You realize we're just a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. This is just the moon rock. Bro, and these moon rocks cost so much fucking money, bro. You let me touch the Genesis rock. Zero. Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil. So I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. <laughs> I tried. This material here is actually yeah. lunar soil. <laughs> what, bro? You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that tube has dirt from the moon. It has not been opened since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first. From the moon. Wait. From the moon. <laughs> and after we found out aliens were totally real, we headed to the stratosphere for our next job, where Carl and Nolan are gonna fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. We've My yeah, nah. Welcome hey, to the first day. But that's crazy though on how motherfuckers go to the moon and shit. But athletes make way more money than motherfuckers that's actually like going to the moon risking their lives and shit for this shit. I mean football, you risking your life too though. Shit, boxing and shit, all that shit you risking your life, but it's just like damn. Marvel actually going out the world type shit. Training. I'm not joking. For the boys to so anything can happen. Plane, all they have to do is land one time in this flight simulator. All right, here we have our throttle. Pulling it back makes it go slower, just like that. Oh, oh my God. And after Nolan crashed. Ah! Oh, God. And crashed. Oh God. And crashed. You crashed the plane? He eventually did land successfully, which for whatever reason gave him the keys to fly this real plane. Yeah, I'm freaking out. Hey, hey hell no. Nah. No. Oh my god, I'm gonna fly a plane. Oh my god. Right, here we go. You ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. Full throttle. Approaching 60. Kind of wobbly, but uh, now just pull back a little bit. We're taking off. Hey. Oh my god. god. Your life is in my hand. He is literally controlling this entire thing. Yes, he is, all by himself. Everyone has never caused a crash, right? Uh, well... Watch this, I'm gonna turn right! No! Turn right! <laughs> oh my god, we're sideways! I can't... <laughs> hey, hey, nah. I would never get the plane in the back of it with, with the... Wait, well, I mean, at least he there. He there to, but, you know what I'm saying, to, to fix his fuck up with my... Nah, I could... Hell nah. I'm controlling this thing. Look, no hands! Stop! Oh, oh sweet Jesus, you four off! Oh, I'm gonna burn you! <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, nah. This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. Oh, God. Ah! Oh. Don't say this shit, oh, bro. Hey, uh, nah, God. dude. Oh, we're too close, right? Oh. Keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh, my God. Easy. Keep your hands on. You got way to pull right out. Just breathe. Look at that mind in the back seat. Look at her. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised. Hey, hey, nah, hey, nah, hey, nah, why the fuck they got Carl in the back seat anyway? Cause I wouldn't, if they were me, I would not get in there, boy. One million hey, dollars nah. is hand modeling, but only if you're one of the highest paid hand modeling. Damn, my, my, I'm in the wrong industry. Hell, nah. 
A million for a hand? Bruh, I'm taking a fucking hand model? A, a motherfucker just take a picture of their hands, don't even show their face, making a meal? I'm in the wrong industry, cuz. Hold on, man. I need to go see how I sign up after this shit. Models in the world. She makes five times the average salary of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands. And her resume is stacked. She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever heard of. Her hands are even insured for $1 million per hand. I can't wait to see this in action. So to start us off, she examined our hands. I didn't know that today was going to be the day that I'd find new insecurities. <laughs> okay, so immediately I can see the nails need work. Of course. Agreed. These hands suck. Okay. Look how much hair is here compared to Carl. Can I get paid more for that? The skin texture might be better here with these two. Can you change me? I don't know if I can work miracles, but um, <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. Your hands like glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good actually. But again, we've got cuticle issues, skin issues here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them to shoot, what? which was pretty easy for me and Carl. But for laser, not so much. Oh God, bro, you can make a rug out of all that hair. <laughs> this hair's been with me my whole life. But you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to make a million dollars and now that my hands are no longer disgusting we're gonna model for an actual magazine and these photos are literally gonna be shown on billboards all across america to promote these watches that's petrifying yeah no no pressure okay i mean the watch looks good <laughs> i honestly thought this was gonna be easy but we were actually horrible at this it looks like the watch is on a snake <laughs> bro this is so hard can i my see what you're doing Oh, what? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't shake as much. But being a hand. <laughs> hey, this shit ain't bad though. Hold on. Unreal. Okay, hud Unreal. The product looks better because her hand. I mean, the Jimmy Jungle, like, his shit just pure white. Her shit, like, she got a little discoloration right here. Nails, okay, cool. That one, she slanted. It okay. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Because I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> breathe, Carl, breathe. Put your other hand out here and kind of support his head. <laughs> One final thing I need to throw in the mix is Immortals of Avium, the sponsor of this video. Just hold that right there. Okay, perfect. Now he's modeling the watch, a snake, and this game. Yo, look at that. That looks crazy. Immortals of Avium is a first person magic oh. show. is a battle map. I ain't trying to play this here. Is this actually safe for the animal? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Get it, get it, go, go. Talk, talk, and go, and talk about the game. You can sling 25 different types of magic spells and unlock 80 different <laughs> talents to customize your character to suit your playstyle. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are going to love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Hold the scary animals, and then we get to join the NFL for our final job. The hey, 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 Immortals of Avium also help make the award-winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. Oh, it's moving. And the coolest thing is, they put me in the game as a boss. And if you kill me in the game, you get more gold than any other. <laughs> Immortals oh, of Avium come is on, out there with a free trial on Xbox as well as PS5. And there's a free trial. <laughs> you didn't forget the mind blind. I didn't forget the mind blind. Cause I, you know what it is. <laughs> We were doing such a bad job that we had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos weren't great, we still got them on billboards all across the country. And now it's finally time for the job that pays $10 million per year. That's right, Football. I'm about to literally join the NFL. This is literally my dream. And if you think this is all fake, here I am signing a real contract. Appreciate the follow. A hey. player for hey. Buccaneers worth 10. Oh, 10 mil. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. On some real nigga shit though. I be on some cool shit. I'd be on some cool shit if a nigga was to do a hand model. It was like, if I would do a hand model or something, I would be cool with that. Hey, a meal? Yeah. At least I ain't got to go out of space. At least I ain't got to do no extreme. You know what I'm saying? But 10 meal, I do 10 meal too. But the 10 meal, you got to do a whole lot of work, though. Whole lot of work. At least you get to travel. Whole lot of work, though. You got to run around the goddamn field. And, you know what I'm saying? Some of everything million dollars it might say we're not gonna pay it but it at least says that dollar amount. no no focus on the dollar amount and now it's official congratulations so for the next 48 hours i'm officially a player you are officially a player i promise i won't let you down i promise he will let you down <laughs> by the end of my contract i'm gonna be running out with the team what do you got like a 10-day contract 
down. I, for the next 48 hours, I'm officially a player. Oh, I'm 48 hours. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> By the end of my contract, I'm going to be running out with the team on the field in front of 60,000 fans. The first step is weight training. It might be too light. Let's go up. Let's go up. Easy. I don't actually think they're paying me the 10 minutes. Am I seeing struggle? Ah. Are you a yeah. winner? Or are you a Falcon? Easy! Yeah! I've noticed they yell at you a lot when you're an NFL player. Can you set it to whatever the strongest player on your team does? I'm going to see if I can do one. You can do 12 of these? Holy crap. He's not a normal human. Uh, I would hate to be hit by him. One more. Four, yeah. four. Football! Easy! Hey, no. How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully the lightheadedness goes away. It will. You get used to it. <laughs> okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training. Oh, I'm saying true need for really get him a four-day out contract. Damn money, what to do, my boy? Facility. So naturally, I met my coach. Oh, Mr. Beast. How's it going? How you doing? So Good. Man. And my new teammates. Good to meet you, man. My name's Shaq. My kids love you. I love your videos. Oh, really? The candy bars, the Carl gummies. Up Y'all ready? Right? Yeah. And my new teammates couldn't believe I actually signed with the team, so I showed them my contract to prove it. This is the same one you guys signed? That's I think you got more money than me, though. <laughs> yeah. I that, but, but if you yeah. read, it says, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still going to cancel. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at uh, the five parentheses right. for sure. Hey, you're official. Welcome to the I know, program. thank you. Hey, hey, my new teammates over here. Mom. These guys make us look like children. They're so big. <laughs> look at the size comparison. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which... Oh, yeah. oh. I was terrible at. Mr. Beast, we need you out. We gotta get ready for tomorrow. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'll keep it. And since I've never played quarterback before either, uh, hi. I just threw one up as far as I could. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's touchdown. In case you didn't know, oh, I need more for you. Buffing them off. Oh, the team I just joined. Hey, they football the though. Team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I thought it'd be funny to surprise him. Oh, we got him, Tom. Oh, I almost got hit. TB, what's up, baby? What's up, TB? What's up, bro? <laughs> I have a friend here who might literally die of happiness if you say no, hi to him. You can't do this to me. You yes, can't do this to me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. After that, our practice just evolved into shenanigans. Hey, do you even need to let him play a game? Like, I want to see if they let him play a game for real. Some people real. still had some questions about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up a press conference for me. We obviously have a big game. I'm expecting very serious questions on Hey, is this a publicity stunt? Why are you really here? To make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on the new team? I want to... Well, what they put this on TV for real, though? Okay. I feel like they would, though. playing time are you expecting? <laughs> Um, none. And after explaining over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. Six, four, six, four and a half. Six, four and a half? Carl, you're six, five. I'm six, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These measurements are key so that my gear and my uniform are all custom fitted. <laughs> this actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game. Yeah. I still don't know why they're letting me do this, but hey, thanks, Bucks. Are you surprised they let me join the team? Yeah. That's my first football I've ever signed. Oh, Jimmy's about to come out any second now. Right they say if you get up there, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super high. It's his first game and probably his last. Definitely his last. How is this happening? Hey, hey, just imagine if I would like get big as Mr. Beast on YouTube. And them folks let me get on the football field. And them folks saying that I was good at cold ahead on that bit. And they let me stay for a whole week. No fuck gave me a whole four, five year contract. Ooh, he, hey, I'll be so. It should be crazy here. But I think you still, but don't you, like, don't you gotta go to college though to go football though? Or they just be doing it just to, I don't know. And since this is the only NFL game I'll ever <clears throat> be a part of, the team actually let me lead them out the tunnel. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Where's your shoulder pads at? Huge yeah. shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a good thing I didn't play because if they hit me, I probably would have died. And I thought it was all over there until. <laughs> Everybody, if they would hit me, I would probably would have died. Oh, true. made fun of me on Twitter. So in retaliation. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, hell nah, that's us at Atlanta Falcon for me uh for it, Mr. B's next challenge. Hit the field, win the game. Much. I'm in a nuclear stadium. Oh, that's so straight. Oh, that's so straight on no folks. <laughs> oh, folks ain't ready. <laughs> hey, shout out to Mr. B, though. I ain't gonna lie.